Hello students. So today the topic that we have with us is organization. We need to discuss what is organization, what are the levels of organization, how organization is involved in the development of any, or what I can say here is in uh, involved in an or any organism. So if I first talk about the definition of organism, we can what is simply say it is the manner in which smaller units of any structure. Okay, or system are arranged into larger units in a hierarchical fashion. Now, first of all, there are a lot of terms that are involved in it, which we need to discuss. First is hierarchical. Hierarchical means what you can understand is that you are uh, putting something in order, and the kind of order that we are using here is ascending order. Why I am saying ascending order is something which you can look at here. You are going from a smaller units to the larger units. So this is a basic idea of ascending order. So this is what do you understand by organization that you are arranging something like here we can say in a ascending order. So it could be any structure, it could be any system. Now here the example that we can simply take here is a living organism with compared to the machine. So how do we do that? As a machine, it has a lot of components. Like first of all, you have to require like in order to build a machine which is made up of let's say any kind of metal. So first of all, you need first of all you need a metal then you need to build the machine by utilizing different components then you try to bring them all the components together and make it work make it work is let's say you are trying to make a uh, robotic car okay so in that car what happens is you need a plastic body of a car you need a battery you need a machine you need a wires and you, when you bring all of them together what will happen you will start making a movable car same thing happens with the organization or organism as well okay which we will discuss in the levels now organization in living world begins at the level of cell from cell to the level of organism and then the group of organism and it then becomes more and more complex like after every step and again this we will discuss in coming examples but then have an idea that when you're talking about living world, it's just not limited to you, but it also limited to your surroundings as well, like how you're interacting to surrounding and that also comes in the organization. So everything comes all together. That is why it becomes complex. Now, every step in this complexity will rep uh, represent one level of organization. Okay. Usually we have three major levels. That is the organism level of organization then the level of organization lower to the organism and then higher to the organism so let's say if you, the, this is the organism so the things that are below to organism are uh, a and higher to them is c so if i simply take you an example of a human so a will be cell that humans are made up of cell and c will be biosphere because we are living in a part of the earth where the life is possible which is biosphere so that is how it is now when i say the complexity of an organ uh, organization in an organism so it could be the cell it always starts with a cell which is cellular level then comes to the tissues then the organ and then the organ system level this is the level of organization now if i simply give you an example here so you can see so you have a certain type of a cell the group of similar cells will form tissues the group of similar tissues will form organ the different organs will form an organ system and the organism. Now, how do we understand this? A very simpler way is a cell is a smallest unit or a living unit means there is nothing smaller than the cell which can act as a living. Also, what you can say is it can exist independently and performs all the life activities. Like there is nothing smaller than the cell which can actually does all of the life activities which is like breathing or respiration, excretion, digestion, all of that. Now the examples of a unicellular organisms will be amoeba, euglena, paramecium, and bacteria. Whereas uh, for multicellular organism, it could be algae and sponges. And the difference between the unicellular and multicellular is that in unicellular, all the activities, the life activities, will be carried out within a single cell. There is a multicellular organism, like different different cells will do different different functions. But then again, these multicellular organisms are not forming the tissues when they have a certain kind of a specific function or what you can say a specialized function to carry out the specific function then you call it tissue or then the tissue are formed and that is a tissue level grid of organization 
okay so the group of similar cells will form tissues which marks the division of or the beginning of division of labor which is nothing but the cell division which is not there in the multicellular but it is there in the uh, tissue level then the group of uh, different tissues or sometimes similar tissues will come together work together and perform one specialized function which will form an organ so like the examples could be brain lungs heart for plants it could be root stem and leaf or flower as well so these are made up of different kinds of tissues which are made up of similar cells but they end up forming a organ which has a lot of different varieties of cells and then these organs will form an organ system okay it's like a very easier way to understand it like again like you can know the digestive system you can remember the ex excretory system reproductive system so again many organs will work together to perform one major life function or one system which is important that is what you can call it organ system so for digestive system it start with the mouth then food pipe stomach intestine rectum that forms the digestive system and it will end up forming an organism which is like the whole systems so in humans i can say we have nine systems digestive excretory reproductive skeletal muscular a lot of them are there okay so they all work together in a coordinated manner okay and then it forms a organism which has a well organized structure consisting of organ systems organs tissues and cells and then as i said this organism will interact with the environment will interact with its surroundings and make sure that according to its surrounding it will behave it will perform so that uh, what you can say it is able to survive for a longer period of time so this is how you can actually understand the organization like from one level how we end up to the next level and it is not like you are skipping a step you are following a proper way and that is why it is a hierarchical order going from a smaller to higher i hope this will help you thank you